Hello everyone, Miss Carrie here with a spring floral scrapbook layout that you can create using cut file images. I will be recording a wedding memory with two cut files and a few elements from the new hip kit collection. In today's video, I'll share a few ways to layer multiple cut files and show you some simple ways to add color and pattern to your designs. The page I'm creating today will be using the April main kit from Hip Kit and the embellishment kit. As you can see, these are packed full of beautiful pattern papers, die cuts, stickers, cardstock frames, a few vintage elements, and so much more. In addition to these items, I will be using two cut files. Each month, you can download exclusive cut files from the Hip Kit site. Some of these are only available to subscribers, but there are quite a few that non-subscribers can use once you've completed your registration on the site. I have already cut these out on my Cricut machine. The first piece is a butterfly wreath, which has been cut at 10 inches in diameter, and a backing piece that I cut from vellum. To create the backing piece, I used the contour tool in Cricut Design Space, and removed all the cuts inside the butterflies. I've also cut some butterflies from this newsprint pattern paper. This is another cut file from Hip Kit that I have scaled down quite a bit. Scaling it down required that I remove some of the contours from these images. For those who are new to using contour in Cricut Design Space, I do have a simple five minute Cricut class that will explain how to use the contour tool so that you can make changes to your uploaded files. I will add a link to that class in the description below. I have selected the print class pattern for my background. The florals at the base create a perfect frame for my butterfly wreath. I have already adhered the vellum backing sheet and the cardstock cut together, and I've added some stitching around this wreath with my sewing machine. I'm going to be layering the smaller and larger butterflies around the circle. I do want some of that wreath to show through, so I'm going to place these on every other butterfly cutout. I'm going to alternate the large and small ones, and I'm going to add multiple layers of butterflies to create some dimension. The photo of my niece is going to sit here in the corner. I framed this using a black and white chipboard frame because I really want this to pop up off the page. Before I adhere these butterflies in place, I want to add a little bit of color and some stitching to them. In the photo, her fairy wings have this lovely blue color. So I'm going to bring in some shimmers paint and add some watered down pigment to the center of the smaller butterflies. I don't want to add too much, just enough to bring a little bit of blue to the page. I'm also going to add some pigment to the lower layer of the larger butterflies. When these are layered onto the page, that little pop of blue is going to peek out from underneath that top layer. I've chosen to make all my butterflies the same color, but these would look really cute in a rainbow pattern or with a spring or summer color palette. You could shade them with ink, paint, or watercolor crayons and create a beautiful, vibrant wreath of butterflies. Her fairy wings also have a purple hue, so I want to bring a little bit of that to the page also. I'm going to do this with some stenciling and nouveau paste. I plan on layering some florals around my photo, and I'm going to be placing a journal card near the top. So this glitter design is just going to slightly peek out from behind those items. I'm using a silicone brush to apply the paste. I find that it spreads more evenly with the silicone brush than with a plastic or metal spatula. All right, I'm going to set these aside to dry and start cutting out a few florals for my page. In the main kit, there is a pattern paper entitled Vintage Bouquet. On this pattern, there are some bright florals with typeset print over the top that I want to use because it's going to match the typeset on the butterflies. 
One of the additions that you can buy with your kit this month is a die that cuts out the prints from this pattern sheet. All you have to do is find that design on the pattern paper, match the die up with the florals, cut around this piece, and then run it through your die cut machine to cut this image out. Now since I've already started cutting apart this pattern paper and I don't want to waste any of it, I'm going to fussy cut out a few more florals so that I can create some layers behind my photo. I am cutting these out with a white edge around them. Not only does that make the fussy cutting a lot easier, but it also matches the larger piece that I cut out with the die. Now I'm going to go off camera real quick and cut out a few more pieces, and then I'll show you how this layout comes together. Off camera, I added some stitching to the centers of the butterflies and attached them to the page. I love the texture that this adds to my design. I'm going to layer these florals around my photo. As I place these florals down, I'm trying my best to have the blue, purple, and pink flowers be more prominent around that photo. This floral pattern is filled with so many colors, but those are the three that I feel are a best match to my photo. I want to leave a little bit of space at the top for some tags that I'm going to be adding some additional journaling to. So this photo you see here is one that was taken many years ago at our son's wedding. If you've seen any of the layouts I've done of my son and his wife, they are very much Renfest fans. So of course the flower girl had to have some fairy wings. This photo was captured by one of our family members and I just love how sweet she looks as my daughter's helping her get ready for the wedding. In the upper left corner, I want to add my journaling card and I'm going to place some black and white floral die cuts behind it. These are similar in shape and color to the ones that are printed on my background sheet. And when I add them behind the journaling card, it's going to form a visual triangle. Now, instead of bringing in more die cuts to create some layers, I'm just going to cut these in two and layer the pieces together. When these are adhered behind the circle, it's going to look like I used two die cuts to create all these layers. While I finish adhering these elements to the page, I would love it if you tap that subscribe button and let me know that you are new here. If you're already a subscriber, let me know that you're enjoying today's project by tapping that thumbs up icon or leaving a comment below. I always love knowing which technique you're going to try next. As I was trying to figure out what type of title I wanted to add to my page, I discovered these clear stickers in the kit and decided that those black splatters would be a great addition to the page. There are already a few splatters on the printed background, so adding these will make it look like the splatters continued throughout the design. Stickers and stamps with splatters are some of my favorites. I lack the confidence in creating splatter designs on my own. That's why having the option to add a more controlled splatter in the form of a sticker is a fantastic solution. The last item I'm going to add to this page is the title. I'm going to use the cardstock letters from the kit with a phrase die cut that says, Memories of Days Gone By. When I create sticker titles, I lay them on acetate or clear packaging first. This allows me to visualize what the title's going to look like on different areas of the layout. It also helps me to see how much spacing I need to add in between each letter. Now I'm going to adhere this title in place, and then I'm going to share the completed layout with you. Off camera, I typed up my story. I was having difficulty getting everything that I wanted to say on the printed card that I originally selected, so I made my own little journal card with cardstock, clear stickers, and a bow from the chipboard frames. I also brought in some more of that purple hue with a puffy flower on the bow, and some ribbon on the tag, 
and a small puffy sticker phrase above the photo. Near the title, I added a little script puffy heart and a butterfly. I'm going to share a few close-ups of this layout so that you can see all the lovely details. During our session today, I presented some techniques for utilizing hip kits cut files to create this stunning butterfly wreath. On my butterfly wreath, I chose a minimalistic color scheme for the butterflies, while those pattern paper flowers I added are striking and vibrant. So this provides the perfect combination of elements on my page. I really hope that today's project inspired you to try something new and give a few of these techniques a try. If you are one who likes to pin photos to inspiration boards, I have added still shots of this layout in the Hip Kit Club Facebook group and on my website for you to use. I want to thank you for joining me for another scrapbook project. If you have any questions about this project or the supplies listed below, feel free to leave me a comment. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.